four years of age, Kangema legislator Clement Muturi Kigano is one of the oldest MPs. Kigano now says he's disappointed by the caliber of leaders and quality of debates in the 12th parliament. Kigano, who made history by achieving a feat he started yearning for 43 years ago before finally being elected to parliament in 2017, says what he expected is not what he has experienced. Here now is the August House. You have a very nice home. Yeah. We met up with 74 year old Clement Muturi Kigano, the current legislator of Kangema constituency at his Kangema rural home, enjoying the breeze away from the hustle and bustle of the city. But his is a story of resilience, patience, and determination of this city lawyer by profession. His journey to the National Assembly started way back in 1974 while he was still in his early 20s after he unsuccessfully contested against the then two political bigwigs from central Kenya, the late Joseph Kamodo and the late John Michuki. And uh, I did very well because I lost to Kamodo by 300 votes. And uh, we were two from my lo lo locality. The then sitting member of parliament came from here. And I think... If we were not two in my locality, perhaps I would have won. That is 1974. And even after several attempts, Kigano could not break the Kamodo Michuki political dominance in the region. Kamodo was my friend, we would sit and share a drink. Uh, Michuki was uh, uh, close to me. He is also a distant relative and uh, got along perfectly with them. There was no uh, acrimony between me and Kamodo. And there was, uh, and I can hear testify that there has never been any violence between him and me and Kamodo. Violence was between him and Michuki. Given that he was not new to the country's political landscape and with an advantage of coming from the backyard of one of the country's father of multi-party democracy, the late Kenneth Njino Matiba, Kigano joined forces with the anti-Moy forces. I represent uh, Laira, I represent Kibaki, I represent Matiba, I represent Anyona, I represent uh, Godo Kaliuki, uh, Professor Okongo from South Nyanza, from uh, people like uh, many, Jega Mungai, Jega Karume, all these people, I represented them. Some of them would pay me, people like Jega Karume and others. Even, Jega, even people like Anyingi, when they were thrown out, Pano. He came to me. It is his never say die attitude that saw him continue trying his luck to win a parliamentary seat. And even after the death of John Michuki in 2012, he still could not succeed him after a newcomer in the world of politics, Teras Ngaho, defeated him. His luck came knocking when he is gray haired after he was elected as an MP on a Jubilee ticket in Kangema in the last general election after 43 years of waiting. There is a saying in my, in my vernacular, uh, when a muse sits at Kikalia Kama in Mecca, now a Kijana Kama Kiris where a quiet fence, Mimi naona bali kukushida. Saingine, you, you see much more because you are hasty, a young man. Uh, I, I know the person is able to, to think, vet issues, and uh, med meditate on issues. With a blend of aging and budding crop of youthful politicians, young enough to be his grandchildren, Kigano says he is an embarrassed man to serve in the 12th parliament, given the greed that he has witnessed among his colleagues. In the South Coast, I said in a room, 60,000 a night, because I'm a member of parliament. So to me, that is waste. The other time we go to North Coast and put in an apartment of a three bedroom and sitting in. Instead of three of us sharing for the night. And when I complain, no, I complain to nobody because everybody wants to, to show Ukuba. Apart from being a politician, Kigano was part of the defunct Electoral Commission of Kenya, served as director Kenya Ports Authority, as well as he's a large-scale farmer. 
And as the saying goes, no matter how long it takes, all dreams are valid. After serving the people of Kangema constituency for two years now, Clement Muturi Kigano, one of the oldest members in the 12th parliament, says age is just but a number and that he'll be seeking a second term in office. Chris Dairo, KTN News, in Kangema constituency, Muranga County.